This is going to be a fun video where we're installing some races with liquid nitrogen. But if you've been watching this story, this Prevo came in, 45 foot Prevo had the worst brakes I've ever seen. These brake rotors were all cracked. They've been overheated, but they've been sticking um, and haven't been releasing. So they've been building up heat and just they're all, all cracking crazy. So we're replacing all the rotors. All the wheel bearings were bad. The bearings were shot, uh, all kinds of metal in the hubs and everything. Um, so all new bearings, races, rotors. Um, lot, lots going on with the brakes on here. We've got new calipers coming, uh, new pads and everything too. So we're gonna, we're gonna, but today we're gonna get this liquid nitrogen in here. We're gonna start getting the, uh, the races installed, putting the hubs back on. We got the rotors showed up. Parts are starting to come in slowly. Tomorrow we're supposed to have the shipment of um, uh, calipers come in. So that'll be a, a big step forward on this bus. It's supposed to kind of stop boiling, which it looks like it mostly is. It's just I think it's where the air is at that it's boiling right now. I, I think we could probably try. Get, yeah, go ahead. There it went. <laughs> Give it a little tap tap. We already had these in the freezer all night long, so they were extra cold going in. Either way, when we were smacking the two in that we had to, they didn't take. No, it's way easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you can go ahead and take that. So, why did it change? I don't know. <laughs> Chemistry. <laughs> chemistry class wasn't this fun though, right? No. <laughs>
this closer to you. No boiling, that's ready. Once it stops bubbling, then it's an even temperature all yeah. around. Yeah. Probably if you, if you tip the box up a little bit, it'll get the other one under the. Yeah. Box is turning into So we don't have to. Throw one of those other races under that box. That little race over there we might keep it. I think you can grab the inner one now. To it, you think, or try? Let's just go for it. Yeah, it should be good. I'm gonna wait for it to quit bubbling. Making a shoot. That should be good because it's not all the way submerged. in the doer you can actually lift that little inside piece will come out the yeah not bleaking, is it? I think so it's a little cold yeah <laughs> just a little bit I'll pull that out for you I'm gonna try and get it in if you can You know, Cosmoline, yeah, junk. the ratcheting wrench is the way to go, Jonathan. Uh, I think we only have one, yeah, but if he and then switch to the tight reach now, George, I think you get the tight reach. Snug it with the, you know, get the right torque with the regular. I gotta look up what the torque is on them.
<laughs> Damn, you ain't got no legs. <laughs> That's... Yeah, must have really been out of balance. <laughs> I feel like my alarm's getting ready to go off. Probably exceeding the weight limit of that stool, Jonathan. We welded that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we welded. Is that the one that, that went by? Yeah. Well, we got two of them now. Yeah. There's another one I was here for. It was pretty funny. God damn, I didn't look at the other ones close, but yeah, this metal is like here, and then it starts to gain this little lip. The one I just hauled to the front left without the weight, it's like they just took a grinder and... Which is probably the way it should be. This one's totally round all the way around. But then it look freshly ground? It does look ground, yeah. Um, but that's probably better that we got that on the steer tire. Looks like he's trying to have sex with the bus. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> looks. Now, a lot of people have said, well, if this bus with these brake rotors should have got an inspection, it would have been caught. But this gets an inspection every time he gets license plates. So he has to take it in. And his, it's good for two years because his license plates are due every two years. But yeah, they, they look at it and they always say, you said they find something every year, but just minor. Yeah, every year it's generally an easy to replace suspension component. So two <laughs> years ago, you need front shocks. I'm like, okay, cool, do it. The next year, because you, it, some years you can get one, some years you can get two. But the next time, same shop, oh, you need tag axle shocks. And I'm like, so every F and time, we're gonna find the easiest thing to bolt on. So I'm like, yeah, do it, go ahead, but never. Your brake rotors are cracked and dragging, and it needs an arm and a leg right. to fix. Like never, <laughs> never, because I would I wouldn't drive it until it's addressed. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Yeah, you got somebody looking at it for you, and they're not. But I've got awesome shocks. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the safest shocks. I don't know. We haven't replaced the drive axle shocks yet, have we? <laughs> Okay, well, we should start getting some calipers back on this bus tomorrow when the rest of them come in. So we'll have another video of this project. And then we have another project bus in the shop that uh, Reman ECM just came in uh, at a little bit after 5 o'clock tonight. So we're going to get that put on the other Prevo in the shop. we got high winds forecast for tomorrow, so I don't think I'm going to get the test drive in on it because of the high winds. Uh, so it might be another two days before we get that done. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. But at the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. 
We're gonna get that big job done.